stay. Free. Stay. Free. Stay. Free. Left. Sit. Stay. Free. Yeah. Down. Stay. Stay. Free. All right, folks, so the stay command is a command that will keep your dog safe. If your dog busts out of the front door, you can tell them stay. Same thing with the car, same thing with the crate. Same thing if you're playing ball and you don't want them to go. You can tell them stay, and we're gonna show you the ways that we start at that foundation with the stay, with a dog who needs a little bit of stay work. So you guys stay tuned, this is gonna be a fun one. All right, so a couple things you wanna think about when you are teaching your dog to stay command. They have to know when it begins and when it ends. And I like to use a, a word that you're not gonna use in regular conversation. I used to use okay, but we'd be at a restaurant and I'd be like, yeah, okay, I want this, and my dog would get up and move. And I'd be like, Jamil, what's wrong with my dog? And he'd be like, bro, you keep saying okay. So I'm giving my dog a release cue and I'm getting mad that he's doing what he's supposed to. So this is why we changed it to free. So we are going to get her in a controlled position um, no, oh, she got pee pee. She got pee pee. Nobody want to work when they got a full bladder, so make sure your dog is empty. The girl. All right, so I got my high value treat to get her paying attention to us because we want her to make sure that there, she understands that there, she's getting something out of working with us in this situation. So there's a cat over there, but I want her to know that Nova, I'm more interested than that cat over there. So when we are starting the stay command, I want to make sure that I can control the outcome. So that's when we're going to use this leash. So Nova, yes, sit. I'm going to tell her stay. Nope. Sit, stay. One, two, three. I'm going to click and then release. Free. Good girl. Hey. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. She's so excited. And this is what you want. You want enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is going to beat repetition any day of the week. So we're gonna come back again and we're gonna try to increase it to a five count this time. Sit, stay. Free, good. And you'll notice I'm not leaving her just yet because I want the dog to understand that stay means you hold that position and I'm gonna give you a release cue. And I won't take a step away until I can get a solid 10 count because there's no point for us to try to get distance away when we don't have the duration of her understanding that she's supposed to hold these positions for a long time. So again, sit, stay. Free, good job. And look, the cats, there's one cat right there, there's another cat right there, and another cat over there by the vehicle. So there's three cats. This is three times the amount of distraction. So I want to make sure she is successful before I try to get that distance. So now she made it to the 10 count. Nova. Now we're going to try to get one step away. So we're going to go stay. Take a step back. One, two, three, four, five. Go back to your dog. And oh. So she broke early, so now she does not get that reward because the click does not mean the command is over. The click means you're doing the right thing to continue to hold that, and then that reward's gonna come. So what we're gonna do is we'll go stay. Nope, stay. Take one step back, one, two, three. Return back to her, pause, click, and free. Good job, good job. And we want to see those wheels start turning. You want to let the dog understand they messed up. And she has to figure out why she messed up. So it was like, okay, I moved a little early. I moved just before that release cue was being given. So now we got a three count. Let's try to go to five. Stay. Return back to the dog. Pause. And free. Yes, ma'am. Good job. Good job. Yes. And it's no. And it's very important, especially in the learning phase, that you always return back to the dog and release them with that release cue. You can have free, you can have done, you can have break, but you don't want it to be a, a word that you're going to use in regular conversation. So now we're gonna try to get to what's over there? Yeah, now we're gonna try to get a 10 count. Sit. 
We'll go, nope. Give her a little pop. Stay. One step away. Oh, so she messed up. She got to eight seconds and broke. And this is where keeping track of your time and your distance, now you know where you need to go back and improve, make them successful, and then you can increase the distance or the duration again. So now we're gonna try to get seven seconds returned back to her before we get that 10 count. Five, Nova. Sit, stay. And she's breaking every time we go back because she's looking at my body and I'm moving my hand and she's like, oh, I know that's about to come back. So what we're gonna do is we gotta make sure we get real comfortable because if we start getting tense, if we start getting frustrated, now the dog's gonna start messing up and learning that they can mess up. So we're gonna give her a little bit of a break. We're gonna walk around. And if you saw the recall video, this is the decompression. This is like, hey, you just learned a little bit. Here's your recess. Let's go do the A-frame one time. You ready? You ready? You ready? Come on. Up. That's it. All right, so it just happened to work out. The card on the camera had got full, so she got a nice little break. And it's good whenever you are working with the dogs. If they start messing up, if they start getting a little distracted, stop. Take a break. Go do something fun with them. Reformat your camera card. Give them a time to decompress. You don't want to keep going and going and going because that's going to do two things. No. Hey. That's going to do two things. It's going to make the command not have value and it's going to put a sour taste in the dog's mouth whenever you're giving them these two commands. We want, whenever we're talking to the dog, Nova, we want them to know that they're going to get something out of it. We want to know that they aren't being forced to do this. They have a choice. She could be paying attention to the cat, but when I say, Nova, I still want her to understand that I have value. So if I'm going to continue to let her mess up in these situations, it's just going to teach her that she doesn't have to listen whenever I give her that stay cue. Is it good or... No. <laughs> and this is a goofy puppy, people. She's about seven months old. She's prey drive, wants to go chase the stuff. Hey, but we're working. And this is what you don't want. This is exactly what you don't want to do you do not want to work your dog teaching them something with a lot of distractions going on but we're doing it for you guys so you can see how it happens and this is why when you are teaching something low distractions you don't want to have anything that is more interesting than you because then you have to even up the ante to get the dog's interest so i have to get her more motivated to be paying attention to me so we're gonna get him interested and then I'm going to stop my babbling, and we're going to get back to the dog trainer. Hey, Nova. Go. No. Sit. So we're going to tell her, stay. Got that 10 count. Walk back to her. I'm going to put my hands to the side, and I'm going to tell her, free. And what you notice there, I released her with the opposite hand, nine. I released her with the opposite hand because she started paying attention to that right hand coming back. So she was like, hi, I know what happens next. So that's one thing you wanna do. You don't wanna be too consistent when you are rewarding your dogs because they start paying attention to every little thing that we're doing. So mix it up on them. So go three times with the left, then mix it up with the right. Then you're gonna go over here and then you might make them do this. But you don't wanna do that same, oh my God, you're staying and get back to them because they're gonna start breaking early. We want the dogs to understand that stay means this is the position I left you in. You should just hang out and do nothing until I give you this release cue. And you're also gonna to wanna to do these same things in the sit stay and the down stay as well. So we wanna start, try to do one more thing with her because she's getting really distracted over there and we don't wanna have a bad session. So we're gonna to try to get a couple of down stays in and then we're gonna be finished. Sit, down. Stay. And just like the, the sit stay, we want to try to get a short two, three second stay, release, and then we're going to try to get a little bit more. Sit. Down. Nope. Stay. Good girl. Free. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so that was about a five count there. Now we're gonna try to get that seven piece. 
We're gonna try to get that lucky number seven. You ready? Let's go. Set. Nine. Down. All the way. Stay. Free. Good girl. Good. And I actually went to 10 on that because she was staying so well. And I'm like, let's see. And that's something that you want to do too. You got to test the dog to see if they're really understanding because that could save you some steps that you don't have to go through. If she would have messed up before we got to the 10 count, I would have saw what number we got to. And then I would have went back and made her successful before we went forward, people. One more Nova. One more for the road and then you're going to be done. So we're going to go here. Sit. You ready? Down. Stay. Try to get that one step away. One, two, three. Nope. So go back to her, and that's she's not gonna get rewarded for that. And we're not gonna make it a big deal about overcorrecting and making this like, oh my god. We're just gonna say, nope, that ain't right. Try again. Down. Stay. We'll go back. Nope. Down. Stay. One, two, three. <laughs> And she's about to start being a little bum because she's tired. Look at her tongue. So we're going to try to get maybe a two count real quick. Down. Come on. Let's go. All the way. Come on. Stay. Free. Oh, it's a half a second early. But what we're going to do is we're going to end on that because that was eh, okay. But that's the best part about dogs, people. This is where we know that we have to come back and add on now. So she's gotten the sit stay for about one step away. We can get to 10 seconds. That's great. The down stay. Down is a submissive position for our dogs. They don't want to be in this position. So we have to make sure that we're teaching them that, hey, you got to hold it just a little bit longer and that reward is going to come back to you. So this is where we're going to pick up with our training. And when you are working with your dog, people, don't try to get it all done in one session. It's just not going to happen. If you have the greatest dog in the world, eventually they're gonna get burnt out about learning something in that one session. And then they're gonna start making mistakes. Then they're gonna cheat. And then they're gonna start realizing that your commands really don't have that much value because if they don't wanna listen, they just blow you off. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep asking. And you're gonna give them the reward, even though they messed up 100,000 times. So keep this in mind. If say, if she wasn't getting this at all, what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to something so basic, being right in front of her, having her stay for two seconds, end on that, and then we're gonna be done. After this dog has understood the stay command, let's say 21 days you've been working with your dog, then I would really start adding a correction when they're breaking. But right now, she's not really sure what we're supposed to be doing, or she's not sure what's expected of her in these different situations. And just like my children, my children's running out here, Nova's the same age as them. So if I start getting on these kids for not knowing how to read paragraphs and, and do math already, they're not going to want to learn at all. So, hey, 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 calm down. No. Relax, relax, relax. That's her favorite person in the world. So, uh, Ren, yep. come say hi to the puppies. For... No, you got to come. Hey, that's it. No. Free. Ah, ah, no jumps. Act like you got some sense. You get better. Nine. As you see people, everything with dogs is a work in progress. You can make a lot of progress in certain things and then they're gonna be too animated and extra. So we gotta learn, we gotta teach Nova. The next thing we're gonna do is show her how to greet people. So that's another video you guys gotta make sure you subscribe. You gotta stay tuned, you gotta stay safe, you gotta stay sharp. Just take, take care, care you dog. Hey, she knows it. Ah. <laughs>